to Hey guys, and welcome to TFV. A uh, little bit of a different show today. I've got um, Richard here with me. Um, we were sent coils from uh, Daniel from Smile Like You Mean It. Um, thanks, Daniel, for sending this, these coils. Uh, sorry for doing the show a little bit later, but thank you so much. I'm so glad we're finally doing this. Um, so the whole idea here today is to bust the myth, um, and we've set up a testing environment that can help us do that. So uh, what uh, Daniel has done for us from Smile Like a Minute, he's built us three coils, um, actually a little bit more than three coils, but tonight what we're going to be doing is we're going to look at these three coils. So uh, they they complex bolts, you know, like uh, uh, framed, <laughs> framed staple, um, Clapton's, Aliens, that kind of thing. Then we've got three different uh, wire types. So we've got NI80, stainless steel, and Canthal. Now we have the exact same um, automizer. We both have uh, Citadels. Um, we, we've got, um, here you can see, uh, we've got the exact same wire in right now. So we're starting off with the Clapton. We've mixed up the exact same recipe at the exact same time, you know, uh, and steeped it for the exact same time. So this is, we, we decided on classic milk tart, uh, which was the recipe that finally gave us the win between uh, the TFV and DIY on under challenge. Um, so we know this recipe really well. Uh, there's, there's a couple of things that we'll be looking at in this recipe. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start with Canthal. What we want to try and establish is what the difference is in these wires. Um, and finally conclude, you know, the age old myth, if there is a difference between the wires, if we can taste it. So we're going to be taking notes as we go. Uh, we're going to be talking about Canthal first. Uh, we've set up our coils now. We've checked. We've made sure that we've got the same coils in. And we are going to start testing. Now, Richard, um, from a Canthal perspective, actually, from a recipe perspective, what are we looking for here? Hey, what I'm going to be looking at is... Um, the milk tart hangs together pretty well as a recipe. The base um, fits nicely. There's not really a, a very prominent top note as, as such. The whole thing hangs together. The crust and the filling uh, all come together with that little bit of, of, of cinnamon. Um, it's moderately sweet. Um, so what I'm going to be looking at um, primarily is just to see... Um, the difference between the the base, if there is a top note, if the brights get a little bit, if the tops get a little bit brighter, depending on the coil and depending on the on the wattage weight, I'm going to be looking a little bit at the sweetness level, just to see where the sweetness registers at the best, and then also taking it over the different wattage ranges. I'm just going to be looking and seeing if there's any separation of the ingredients, whether they all still hang together as a a milk tart, whether that the base notes come through a little bit more, whether the top notes come through a little bit more. And then just as a, a kind of um, secondary thing, I'm just going to be looking at the texture, uh, just the overall, the creaminess, the moisture level, the mouthfeel, and that texture, that cookie in the, in the base, uh, you know, which coil makes that texture stand out the most. That, that would be what I would look for in a, in a coil test. Um, you know, as regards flavor. Yeah, so, I mean, the layers that we're talking about here, um, we're talking about the cookie crust, we're talking about the, um, the custard filling, right? Because it's got a custard filling. Then we've got cream in there as well. So we've got FLB cream in this recipe. Um, I'll put the recipe down here so that you guys can see what the recipe consists of. But we're looking at the cream. So, you know, 
uh, we've got a, I've, I've parked, or wrote it down here as cream depth, right? Um, then uh, we, we're looking at sweetness, what's popping more, and we're looking at the spice top note. The spice top note is extremely subtle, extremely. When we say dusted off Moltar, it's a dusted off. It's, you can almost barely see the cinnamon on there, but there is a fine dust on this recipe of cinnamon, right? And um, you need a flavor at tea and a, a very nice coil to be able to pick it up. Um, so I think that's it, right? So we're looking at those three things. And I think what we need to try and also do is we need to try and talk about, um, so we'll look at each of them, each of those layers, or, or things in the recipe, and then we'll rate it out of five, Richard. So what are we getting more? And that will give us an idea of what experience we're getting more of, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, let the tasting, let the tasting start. So remember, we've got the cantle now. We're starting with the cantle. I'm starting mine at 22 watts. I bed it in the coil at 15 watts. Uh, got a nice glow from it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm using cotton bacon V2, incidentally, here mm -hmm. on the Entheon. Uh, I started at 22 watts. What I'm getting at 22 watts is a very subtle vape. Uh, it's not very sweet. There isn't really a separation between the layers. What I'm getting is just, um, I'm getting the overall feel. I'm getting the cookie and the custard in there, but they, they blended very closely together. And it's, it's not really popping as a as a flavor the flavor is there but it's it's very subtle and it's very uh, it's very kind of flat if I if I can put it that way there, there's no real uh, separation between the ingredients the sweetness isn't coming through uh, that much um, so this is it's the kind of flavor that I would probably expect from an RTA down this low uh, you know I'm not I'm not getting all the nuances in there uh, but at, at such a low wattage, I also wouldn't expect to be getting that much from it. Yeah. What, uh, what do you What do you get? Yeah, hundred percent. So I'm getting um, obviously no real mouthfeel whatsoever. Um, I'm just getting like custard and cream, uh, but subtle. Uh, not a lot of sweetness. I've tuned it down now to what is this? Uh, 22 degrees and um, no spice notes very subtle sweetness as well it's it's not popping we need to go up right so what do you want to go up to okay I'm lifting mine to 25 now okay. 25 okay I'm mirror image there for some reason, but I'm up at 25. Uh, let's give it a hit. Uh, two things straight away. The sweetness has kicked up a notch and the crust is starting to come through a little bit. Oh, no, it's still it's still pretty blended, but I'm starting to get a little bit more of that FA cookie texture coming through, and the sweetness is starting to register more. I'm not getting a great deal of spice. I don't think we will at, at any wattage. Yeah, but, no spice. Uh, I am getting a little bit more from the from the crust. Uh, it was mostly the cream and custard filling at 22 at 25. I'm getting a little bit of that crust coming through. And as I say, the sweetness has, has kicked up. Enough. Yeah, the one hundred percent. The sweetness is definitely just up there. Um, the the crust is almost overpowering. 
you know what I mean? So it kind of distracts you from, you know that there's custard and cream happening there, but you know, um, I'm not getting, I'm just getting like a lot more cookie and not that much custard and cream. <clears throat> So where's, where's the ideal where where's the ideal for this coil? What would you reckon? Well, let me push it up to twenty eight now. See what I get from that. Let me just drip again. Okay, things are starting to happen. Okay. okay, so for me, on um, at twenty eight, the cream is now is present. The cream is present. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting the custard as well. Uh, I'm getting nuances of the spice. The sweetness, sort of, because the cream is so forward, the sweetness is just, you know, the right. It, it feels it's not overpowering. The whole recipe is hanging a lot better now. The cookie crust also a little bit more back, and that's where I am. The custard, not quite hard, but I mean, this recipe itself, we want the cream, and you know, the cream and the custard, but a little bit more of that dairy note to be in front, right? So that's starting to happen for me. Yeah, that's happening for me too. I'm starting to get that flavora cream coming through as well as the, the TFA dairy seems to be mm. coming through a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Um, it's starting to pop a little bit more. I'm getting a little bit more from the tops. Mm. It's, it's not quite as, as basey and, and flat as it was at 22 and 25. Sweetness doesn't seem to have changed much. What I'm getting as well a little bit, it seems a little bit more moist. Hmm. Yeah, I yeah, didn't. I, I didn't I, I, actually I, think about that when I was making it. Let me try. Yeah, for me, this recipe in itself is is not extremely moisture, you know, because it's got that cookie and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't really. I haven't really thought about it earlier on. So I'll look if we bump it up again now, if I pick up, you know, a difference in moisture. Um, but if, you, if you're if picking it up, I'll pay attention to that now. What's happening for me as well, that sweetness is lingering. Mm. I'm getting the back of the palate coating. Mm. Like the sweetness after the vape's finished, I'm getting on the back of my palate a sweet custody note like a mouth mouth coated right at the right at the back there which is more than i was getting with at 25 and, and 22 so let's pump it up to 31 yeah it's uh now now that you say it, definitely um cream and custard right at the back of your palate sort of you know sort of almost where your tongue can't even touch you know so you bumped it up to 31. All right. It's very bassy now, hey? I don't know. Well, for me, what's happening now is the custard starting to cut through. Mm. Custard starting to dominate the cream a little bit. Mm. Still, get, still getting that that sugary custard palate coating after the exhale on the end, but this is now starting to oh, yes. to head more into custard territory for me. Yeah, uh, mouthfeel has also is also much better right now, but uh, it almost for me. At this temperature here, where I'm at, is it feels like, uh, you know, it's just a lot of base notes. You know, um, it's it's got a lot of depth. This recipe. I mean, you know, what you're looking at is, 
you, you're not looking at something with you know a lot of dimension you're looking at a, a couple of layers in a small dimension you know which makes this a little bit harder to pick out um, so the cookie the custard and the, the cream are very much sort of happening right now the spice note is not happening for me that much anymore I mean, a little bit, uh, right at the end, sort of like on my lips in front, I can, you know, pick it up, that cream and, and uh, spiciness, but only because I'm really, you know, focusing my attention there. It's, it's, it felt like the spice is a little bit down, like I could taste it more clearly. Because the creams weren't so harsh, right? I mean, not harsh, uh, you know, the creams were not as prominent. Yeah, I bumped up to 35 now, and this has gone over the cliff for me. It's it's now starting to separate a little bit. There's a little bit of harshness harshness coming in. That aftertaste, that custard sugar aftertaste, is now starting to get a little astringent for me. It's not hanging together as a as a sweet, creamy custard anymore. It's now starting to separate a little a little bit 35 is too, is too high for me on this one um for me at uh, you know i almost don't want to change you know i'm at 35 it, it feels very basic i can't actually distinguish the layers that much anymore let me try again Yeah, this is very creamy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why did we make this recipe so creamy? <laughs> it's just cream. <laughs> where, it, where it's working for me is around the 29, 29.5 watt. Yeah. But that's where I'm getting a nice balance of cream and custard. I'm still mm. getting the, the cookie base in there. Not an awful lot of, of cinnamon, but I put really, literally like half a drop of, of pitch cinnamon in there. So I didn't expect, I mean, it's there. I think if it wasn't there, I'd, I'd taste it in the recipe. It's not, you know, it's not like you're saying there's cinnamon, but mm. if it wasn't there, you'd be saying uh, there's something that's it's not the same as it, as it was. I mean, it's in there very subtly. Yeah, it is. But I, I think for me, the, the best balance between everything hanging together, getting that nice um, aftertaste that I like, that lingering sweetness, that lingering custody note, but without it becoming too custody or too creamy. Somewhere around the 29, 29.5 watt mark is, is where I'd, I'd probably run this. Yeah, of course, for the 0 0.3 coil, right? 0 0.3 something. Yeah, mm. yeah 0 0.37. I think, you know, this to me, from what I know of the recipe, it's representing it pretty well. Mm. Uh, just a case of dialing in, getting getting the wattage that you uh, where it's going to hang together the best for you know for your for your palate, which to me is just under thirty, twenty nine thirty there thereabouts is where the recipe is is being reflected the most accurately. Most yeah, accurately. I, I, yeah. um, now, how are we going to do this? So. Um, so are we going to test the other coil um, through the exact same wattage up to 35? Yeah, I think so. Or we'll, Do, we'll go it'll, on it'll, until it falls apart, right? Yeah, it'll, it'll depend on the, um, you know, the ohmage of the, you know, if, if the ohms are slightly higher, then I would probably start a little bit lower, maybe even start at 20. But if, if the, the ohms are, a little bit lower like if it's a 0.25 i would probably start at you know 23 25 somewhere somewhere around there so uh with canthal <coughs> we used um at about 28 watts for 28 watts for a 0 0.37 0 
37 coil. We felt we hit the sweet spot. Um, the cookie out of five for a sweet spot, right? The cookie mm. out of five wasn't that much present. It was like a, you know, but it was there. Out of five, I mean, I would be at about a two, Richard. Yeah, yeah. That works for me. Um, the custard filling, um, also for me, at that sweet spot, out of five, probably like a two and a half, you know? I'd say a three. I was getting quite a lot of custard there. Cream and custard, I'd say we're both. The cream maybe up towards three and a half, four. The custard maybe around three. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go three on the custard, and then the cream was. I mean, the cream was was very much present, right? Even at twenty eight. At twenty eight, it was very present. Um, so what are we settling? We were just just above three, right? Three and a half. Three and a half. I'd say yeah. And then the sweetness, I would say one, even 0 0.5, maybe one. Let's do one out of uh, five if, or 0 0.5. What would you say? Um, I mean, this is a thing because we both, you know, I like sweet stuff. So, yeah, for me, the, the sweetness would be higher, you know, particularly at the end, mm. after the exhale, that coating for me would be like a three on, on the sweetness, but then I, I prefer less. Sweet. Sweet no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a lot more um, sensitive to, to sweetness than, than probably than you are. So. so let's take sweetness. I mean, I think we should take the sweetness out here because, or we can keep it in, but, you know, we've got very different views. <laughs> I've got a sweet tooth. Well, <laughs> I, 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 think, I think what we, what we can say as unanimous as the it's, 22 you're not, you're not getting much sweetness but as you get up towards the sort of 28 mark it's it, there. it becomes it becomes more prominent yeah sure there um and then spicy t the spice top note the cinnamon uh, 0 0.5 well if if that if that you know what i mean 0 0.25 yeah it's very subtle, very subtle let's go a half of a half right yeah yeah okay All right. All right, guys. So um, if, uh, if you leave us, we're just going to quickly uh, build and uh, we'll be back now. Okay, guys, and we are back. We just rebuilt and now we are going to be talking about stainless steel. Now, uh, I can't remember when last I built with stainless steel. But man, this is such a beautiful coil. This is a frame staple stainless steel coil. I don't know if you, you guys will be able to see that or not. Uh, there you go, you can see it. But such a nice beefy coil. Got the beautiful most, uh, what do you call, purple magenta when I was busy, um, you know, just getting the coil ready and combing the coil until it ultimately settled in this sort of light teal blue. And now we are ready to vape. We are at uh, 0 0.25. Uh, both our coils is pretty much in the same range. We're sitting at uh, wattage. We're gonna start off at about 25. I mean, it's not that much. And we're gonna slowly work our way up. I'm putting in my Citadel insert in here. Um, and we are off to go. Off to go. Let's do this. Okay, a 25, um, a little bit of crust. Um, I can't really taste any creams, uh, but uh, I mean, some subtle, subtle cream vibes I'm getting. No spice, almost no sweetness, uh, no spiciness, um, no cream, no, f no custard. It's, it's, I'm mostly picking up the cookie at 25.
Let me try that again. Yeah. No, 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 excuse me. <laughs> it's different. Okay. So that initial um, vape over there was obviously when the coil, I mean, I'm, I'm using prime over here. Um, my experience with prime is after about the fifth or sixth drag, I'm really starting to get the flavor. So the initial, the initial drag wasn't giving me much, but now um, I can definitely start picking up the cream because I know that the spice is there. I'm detecting a little bit of spice, at this point, it's uh, I can't differentiate between the custard and the cream. It's more cream and spice and some sweetness for me. And, you know, a little bit of cookie lingering in the back. Yeah, more cookie. A little bit more cookie I'm getting. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of cream, more cookie. It's difficult to say. Everything is kind of flat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> I'm going to settle with more cookie and a little bit of cream. Yeah, 25, that's not, uh, that's not popping at all. Sorry, I was a bit late off to the races. I was getting advertised <laughs> short. One of my legs was touching the yeah. um, Atty casing. You know, with this frame staple, there's just so many small wires, you know what I mean, that you have to clip off and make sure that they're not touching. Yeah, at uh, twenty-five, you know, this coil, this coil wants to, this coil wants to be doubled almost. <laughs> you know? It wants to go up with at least ten watts. I mean, but we'll take it slow. We'll take it five watts up, right? So, what are you getting at twenty-five, Rich? Twenty-five. I'm getting a very cool, um, very unsweet. Um, I'm not getting that much cookie. I'm just getting almost a generic, uh, almost just like a rough vanilla, semi-cream type of type of thing. thing. I'm not getting much much texture from it at all. It's just like a so difficult. Blend. Yeah, it's so difficult because you know it almost feels like you've run out of juice in your tank. You know what I mean? Like you you probably need to drip a little bit more when you when you have a a hit like this. <laughs> It's like the end, it's the end of your drip kind of vape. It's, it's not pleasant. It's, it's not fun. Can we go up to 30? Please, let's go up to 30. Yeah. I think we need to because this, this is low. What are you oming out at now? Is it lower? Zero point one nine. Yeah, same. Zero point one eight. So we're about in the same zone. Yeah, that's it's dropped, you know, since uh, everything's in. I don't know, but it's dropped. Somebody hit down comments of what the science is behind that, <laughs> but it's gone down. Maybe what's is better. Sweetness is starting to come through a little bit now, a little bit of the custard coming through. Most, uh, some cream is also there, um, so, but the sweetness is definitely the thing that stands out. The spice is not popping at all for me. Cookie, how's the cookie for you, the cookie crust? Cookies, I mean, it's there, but it's not, it's not coming, coming through. I'm getting a little bit of harshness from this, but I suspect that is the cotton bacon just uh, bedding in. I always get a little bit of a chemical taste when I, I re-wick with um, cotton bacon V2. Uh, 
just almost like an astringent note, uh, just grabs at your throat a little bit until those wicks are fully saturated and have had a little bit of, you know, a little bit of capillary action through them. Okay, so should we bump it up to 35? Okay, I'm way more impressed with this recipe at 35 with stainless steel. <laughs> it's really coming together now for me. Um, it's, I mean, I can, I can go a little bit higher just to see how it is, but I would be pretty happy here. I can go up still a little bit, but I mean, it's getting hot. Um, the, the cream is there. Um, the cookie, let me just try. It's hanging together as a as a milk recipe. Tart. Yeah, it's hanging together yeah. as a. Re I can taste everything. You know, I can uh, I can definitely taste the custard. I can definitely pick up the cream. I can pick up the the spicy top note. Very subtle still, but it's starting to you know hang together as a recipe. The vape is getting a little bit hot though. No. Yeah. That this is the thing with a citadel. You've got to be pretty careful with your wattages. Otherwise, you're going to burn your lips. Yeah, have you done that? Have you burnt your lips? <laughs> I've burnt my no, lips. no. I, I have to in the citadel. That's that's the Merlin drip tip. Oh. The, the org vape Merlin. I can't, I can't use the citadel, the OG drip tip. I, it just, I've burnt like yeah, white it, it things. Like, you know, they, your lip turns white from a yeah, burn. It didn't it incinerates my lips straight away. So the Merlin is, you can see it, it doesn't really fit properly. You've got a little bit of overhang on the, on the mm. edges there, but because it's, it's a, because it's a taller drip tip mm. than the, the Citadel OG, uh, it does, you know, it means my lips aren't touching the ante when, when I'm vaping. I mean, I, I just can't va vape the, the Citadel OG. It's tip. weird because it burns the, like the inside of your lip, like, you know, yeah. you know. Um, I'm quite happy at 35, but do you want to bump it up with like another three, maybe to about 38? Does this feel like, I, I don't want to be, uh, but I got way just, you know, you know that magical moment where it just feels like all the flavors are just perfectly gelling together and it has that harmony, you know what I mean? Um, and that's where I am with this right now, uh, which I almost want to say to you, I didn't get that with my experience, what I, got, what I just got right now, I just, I didn't get that with the candle. I didn't get to the point where, I mean, yeah, I got to the point where it was the sweet spot for the cancel, but I didn't get this. Now I, it just feels like for me, it's perfect. That at 35 or 38? 38. 38, the custard's coming through for me. It's the same mm -hmm. as the cancel. The higher you go on the wattage, the more the custard starts, starts coming, coming through. through. It's getting a little warm for me though. It's getting warm for me as well. Spice note is there. I can pick out the spice note quite easily. Uh, yeah, this is super delicious for me right now. Uh, you know, this could be a preference between the two, but I think I could actually go a little bit lower, you know, I could actually go to about 26. And uh, it's a perfect milk tart for me. It excites me a little bit more than what the cancel did at perfect. That could be a mental thing, that could be a personal preference. However, it does, 
uh, because uh, Richard, I don't know if this is how you experience it, it but uh, remember when we were at Canthal and we were at the tipping point, the creams were, was insane. You know what I mean? I was even kind of doubting what we were doing, but the creams were just insane. It was just felt like it was overpowering the rest of, of the elements in this recipe because it's, it's such a small dimension recipe and then it's got little layers in there, right? So it felt like the cream was too much, but here at the sweet spot, I'm tasting everything, you know, a lot clearer. Um, I'm getting a crispness from this that I didn't get from the council. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the, the cream and the custards are both registering a little bit sharper. Uh, you know, the council mm. was a little bit muddy, mm. which is maybe what you want in a, in a milk tart. Uh, mm. You maybe don't want that sharp definition up in the top notes, but for this, I'm getting that that cream is very crisp. The cream and the custard, very absolutely. Crisp. So, if we look at so, so for me, oh, I'm sitting at um, this is a zero. What is this zero point? I'm going to call it zero point one nine ohm is where it's at, and then um, we're sitting at about thirty six. Are you at thirty six as well? Are we calling 36 the sweet spot for this, um, the Citadel? Yeah, for me, 35 is about as high as I would probably go on, on this. 38 is getting too hot for me. Yeah. 30, 35 is about right. 36 yeah, probably, probably work. Now, okay, so let's think about, uh, let's go from the other way up. Let's start at the spice note because this is the interesting thing for me. So at the sweet spot, uh, if we said that the spice top load was 0 0.25 on the canful, how well, how clear is it now for you? Not a whole lot, probably 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Hmm. Yeah, I would also, I would go up, I would go to, to 0 0.5 just to sort of make a point that it's clearer for me, you know. Um, it's also, I think that Christmas is helping it. Hmm. That, because it's it's giving the impression, you know, that's what cinnamon is. It gives you that sort of crisp, um, you know, slightly sharp notes in it, which I'm getting anyway mm. uh, from the stainless steel through, throughout everything. Mm. On the, on everything. The crust, on the creams, the creams, the custards, everything. So it's probably just, it's, you know, it's a, it's a quality rather than a quantity. That's the thing, thing. you know, the, uh, you know the, what we're using here to, to rate it doesn't kind of make sense now because I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I'm getting the same kind of intensity, but I'm getting it clearer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's because the overall quality of the vape is, I think, more conducive to flavors like cinnamon. Mm. I'd imagine something like a lemon vape would, would come through very well on this more than the canthal. Whereas if you've got like a, a less, if you made, a, say, a mango cream, probably the cancel is, is just going to put it, you're not going to get any sharper notes in it. Mm. Whereas the stainless steel is going to lift out things like your top notes in blueberry, uh, cinnamon, lemon, stuff like that. Just the overall sharpness and crispness of the vape is going to pull those flavors out, in mm. my view. Yeah, in my view, the cancel when we, you know, the, the custard and the cream, if I think about it now, the custard, cream, and cookie, even though I could pick those out in the vape, oh, that's, there's the cookie, oh, there's the custard, oh, there's the cream on three different pools. With the, uh, with the stainless steel, I can, you know, pick those out in one vape, you know what I mean, um, where it felt a little bit more muddled um, uh, with the canthal. It wasn't unpleasant, you know, but with the stainless steel, it feels clearer. I can, you know, my palate goes from uh, the cookie to the custard um, to the cream and to the spice note. Boom, in that order. I can, I can just identify all of them with no problem. Is it just me or is this registering as less sweet overall? Um. Yeah, it's a good point. I didn't even think about that, 
Richard, but if you, if you look back in this video, you'll probably find that we didn't go on about it other than, you, you know, we can't taste the sweetness when we started out at, at uh, 25. And then, you know, the, the sweetness was registering for us at 30, right? But it, it, it's not as intense. It's not as, it's not as much as the cancel, that's for sure. That's for sure. But the, that spicy top note is right at the end and it's way more clear. Um, I can pick it out quite easily. The cream and the custard and the cookie, I can differentiate easily between them now. This is pleasant. This is, this is what I want to vape, you know? This is where it's at for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm toasting the cinnamon a little bit more, particularly after the vape is gone. You know, with the cancel, what mm. I got was that was the custard and the sugar lingering. Mm. With this, I'm getting a little bit of the cinnamon note lingering. And I can always feel that because cinnamon is quite sharp at the back of my palate. And that's what I'm getting, getting here. It's not that it's registering as a strong cinnamon vape, mm -mm. but you, you know after you've exhaled and you feel the mm. coating in your palate, you know there's cinnamon in there. Yeah, I'm almost getting it, you know, right after all the vapor has left my mouth, you know what I mean? Then I'm getting this sort of like cinnamon um, finish, you know, if, if that makes any sense. I, I'm getting a cinnamon finish um, and way more clearer than what I did with the cancel. So, uh, you know, the rating doesn't really make sense, but I think, I think we should carry on. Um, with this for me, um, at the sweet spot, I taste the cookie clearly. So actually, let's do this. Uh, let's, so let's go, we, we've got the sweet spot, right? So what we said was the cookie, custard and cream filling with a can full was slightly muddled, right? You compare the two. Yep. I just vaped at 14 now, and I can tell you that cotton bacon notes coming through. <laughs> <laughs> it really picks up that cotton. <laughs> I, think my, I think my wick's got a bit dry. dry there. <laughs> got a mouthful of cotton bacon, but yeah, 40, 40 is a little bit extreme there. Okay, so I've changed it. Um, instead of rating it in numbers, I'm rating it in what we experience, the experience in words, you know, so the cookie, custard and cream um, and the canthal 28 watt at 0 0.37 was slightly muddled. I'm using slightly muddled because they were not so clearly, you know, we weren't able to clearly distinguish between them. And with the sweet spot, 36 watt, 0 0.9 ohm and the Citadel, both of them uh, with the stainless steel. What we are getting is um, what we intended with this vape. So we're getting the cookie first, custard filling second, shortly followed by the, the cream, you know, and finished off with the spice top note, which is a lot more prominent, right? So there definitely is a difference here. Um, I, I don't think prominent is the right word. I think clear is, is a better description. Uh, My summary of these two coils is that for an all day vape, I'd go for the cancel. I don't mind that muddling because for a milk tart, I want things to run together. Mm. If I'm testing a juice and I want to delineate what's in there and I want to separate out the notes, I'd go for the stainless. Yeah, if you're looking at um, if you're looking at less complex, um, you know, so one fruit and one cream, or you're looking for, you know, just thick creamy clouds, Cantal is the way to go. Cantle is the way to go because uh, for me, the, if we're looking at the SS, everything is clearer 
uh, but it doesn't feel as heavy, right? Uh, doesn't feel as yeah. heavy. Uh, everything is just more clear. What's in the vape? Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. I really like that crispness for extended vaping. It's great when you're testing the flavor because you know everything's standing out in stark contrast. But for an all-day vape where I don't, you know, I'm just taking drags and just want a nice overall vape. I don't want to with every drag say oh there's a little bit of cinnamon there's a little bit of the cream the custard's coming through stronger now i don't really want that i just want it to hang together and i actually want it to be a little bit muddled because then i'm just getting that overall milk tart uh, sort of vibe to it everything's running together which for all that vape is better for me. yeah hey so we shall um, be back when we have built our NI80 coil, complex coil. Uh, we've just finished building our final coil, which is a, a what is it, a dual core. What is it? A, a fused Clapton NI80, right? That's what it is. Fused Clapton NI80. Um, and it's oming out at about 0 0.464445, somewhere around there. And um, I've got it on 20 watts. Richard, do you want to start out on 20? I've got my insert on there. You can see what is happening on the screen. Okay. Change my glasses every time I have to <laughs> wick with my coil and wick with my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, while you while you uh, carry on there at zero point, uh, oh excuse me, at uh, twenty watts, um, just on the initial vape, uh, the sweetness is one hundred percent there for me. funny but um, I can almost identify the cinnamon quite easily I'm not sure if that's but it's quite a flat vape there's not much going on from a cream and a, a custard perspective uh, it's kind of like sweetness and remnants of the other elements but nothing quite interesting yet for me Try again. Yeah, no, this isn't really registering at 20 for me. Shall we bump it up, Richard? What is your, what are you thinking at 20? What are you getting? Almost nothing. Yeah, it's just very generic. Um... <sighs> Not really picking out much there at all. Just a little bit of sweetness and some, uh, some sort of Generic milkiness. Mm. You want to rock twenty five? You had that uh, twenty five. Twenty five. The dairy and the. Um, the cookie are coming through. A little bit of cinnamon there, but not an awful lot. What I'm not really getting is the custard at this at this point. Let not a whole lot of vanilla. Not a whole lot of vanilla in there. I'm getting dairy. Yeah, um, I mean, if I lick off my lips, I can, you know, detect some cookie. But mostly, what I'm zoomed in on just as an initial sort of take on it is 
I'm getting dairy and some spices at the end. I'm already picking up the spices, which was different for me um, with the canthal. The canthal, the spices only started coming up a little bit later. This is the, the, the spicy top notes. It just seems like it's registering earlier for me. But I can already taste the dairy milk, but I, I can't taste the crust very much. I can only taste the, the cream, really. That's where I'm at. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go up five more? Try 28. Okay. Okay, so the crust is definitely now presente. It is arrived at the parte. Now I can taste the, the cream and I can taste the crust. The crust is very much there. It's delicious, it's buttery. Um, then I can taste, I got an element, but not much of the custard. You know, got element of the custard. It was there, but uh, the cream was a lot more present. And the spice notes that the spice note finish. The the custard isn't showing up just yet. Yeah, the cream gives way to the cinnamon on the on the exhale. Mm. Also get a little bit of that crust at the start of the of the exhale. But as the exhale goes on, the dairy sort of falls away a little bit. I mean mm. you get that little bit of a spicy note at the end. Should we try thirty one? Yeah, I think we're close to the sweet spot on this oh, that cluster is starting to come through at 31 definitely yeah. nice and buttery you know so it, yeah. almost, it almost feels like uh, uh, that the golden button which we we haven't really spoken about you know uh, the golden butter over here, I don't know why, it's just very much from the FA cookie and from the butter, it's just really showing up for me. Um, it feels like the cookie is kind of at the party here. <laughs> you know, it feels way more than what it this, was before. This NI80 at 31 watts is the closest I've got to what the recipe should be. Everything's coming coming through there. I think the custard needs a little bit more. The dairy is still there. Mm. The cookies there. The spice is there on the on the on the background. But it's hanging together. It's kind of for me in the middle between the canthal and the stainless steel. The stainless steel I find a little bit too much precision and separation there. Mm. The canthal was maybe a little bit muddy overall. This kind of um, hits the, the sweet spots for me. It, it's hanging together. And you're detecting the different notes, but it's still as an integrated whole. Whole, yeah. The uh, the stainless steel, from a flavor testing perspective, that's where it's at. And I'm so happy I did this this whole test now, um, because if I'm doing single flavor testing, I'm using stainless steel. There's no there's no doubt about it. Um, but when I'm vaping my every day you know, something like this is going to be where it's at for me because, you know, the cookie and the the butter, the button, I can taste it, literally the butter inside the cookie. I can taste that. And I, you know, and it flows into a little bit of custard, then dairy, spice note finish. But the whole thing together, is, it, it's closer. You know, uh, you know, it's not as separated. Texturally, this is right for me as well. It's not quite as moist as the Anthel was, but it's it's fuller and gives more mouthfeel and a better feeling than the stainless steel did. I don't know why I was getting that moistness from the from the Canthel, but this has has pulled it back into a sort of a uh, more stodgy, like like you would expect a milk tart. Heavier. To be, yeah. Yeah, heavier. You know, the, the butter that I'm talking about is probably, you know, leaning to the same thing as I'm getting that richness, you know, that buttery richness that uh, you get from uh, the cookie and 
you know, the extra, the little bit of DARP, a little bit of DARP and the dairy milk, all of that stuff is just giving me that weight um, in this recipe. I don't know. I'm, I'm enjoying it at 31. Where are you at now? I was also at 31. I've bumped it up to 34 now. Let me just up it to about 34. Yeah, now that vanilla custard's coming through. It's it's like custard overload now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a it's, it's like a custard now. Yeah. With yeah, with all three coils you're getting the same thing. At lower wattages, it's dairy and crust. Hmm. The more you bump the wattages up, the more that custard that vanilla custard note starts to come through. Come through. Yeah, if, if you whack this recipe at too high temperatures, you're not going to get it. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, um, this is all about the subtleties. Um, should I probably put those notes in there? But 100%, uh, I think its sweet spot is probably at about 32, 31 for me. Yeah, 31 would work, work for me. Then it's a a homemade milk tart with a condensed milk color to it. Mm. At 34, you're starting to get a checkers milk tart that's <laughs> like lurid, lurid <laughs> yellow, yellow <laughs> uh, color to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's been out for way too long, you know. Um, but yeah, I think this is not as clear. I mean, when I say clear, I mean um, the separation like I was getting from the stainless steel. Uh, the stainless steel, it didn't feel like the, the heaviness in the, in the recipe was showing up as much as I'm getting now. Um, I think originally with the canthal, I was getting, um, you know, some basic notes, but I'm actually from the NR80, I'm quite surprised because I'm getting some of the deeper notes, you know, uh, like that, butter and and cookie deeper notes and feels and it's giving me that weight impression uh, so it just feels like the recipe has got a little bit more weight between the canthal and the ni80 i think that's probably where if you like uh creamy dairy thicker custardy cookie you know richness that's probably where it's going to be i think if you want something less muddled uh, and a little bit more clear on the separation, probably look at NR80. What are you thinking? At 31 watts, for me, this NR80 coil turns the Citadel into the Hadley. It becomes a reference. It's a mm. flat reference. It's not boosting the tops. It's not boosting the base. You're getting a good, a good flat mm. uh, response on it. The, the base is there. The tops are there but neither one is, is going higher. I found the um, the cancel got a bit muddy overall. The stainless steel got quite sharp. The tops were, were quite um, accentuated. This one is right for me. As an ADV, this is what I'd go for because it's, it's clear enough that you're picking out the notes, but it's also blended enough that as an ADV, this, this makes the recipe hang, to, hang together nicely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as a as an all day vape, I would I would definitely go for this over the other two. Stainless steel for single flavor tasting. Um, Canthal, if you into um, not not that much complexity, um, and you just want uh, you know dairy creamy notes overload. That's where it's at. <laughs> Canthal is if you say. What exactly do you mean by X? <laughs> Go for the cancel. You'll like it. <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if, if you've been smoking pods, if you've been vaping pods, <laughs> and you don't want to shock yourself with too much flavor, go for the cancel. You know. The cancel is fine. <laughs> <laughs> the cancel is good, but it's, it's not, it's not going to give you quite a, a sort of, I'd say delineation. 
Yeah. Because the words that I'd use. The, mm. the stainless steel gives you the most delineation. Mm. This for me gives great delineation. And I mean, I'm not saying that as a snob. I don't want full on delineation. The stainless steel for me is, is, is too clipped. It's too, it's too precise for an ADV. Yeah. And if I'm tasting a recipe, if I'm, t if I'm tasting a, a concentrate, stainless steel all the way. I, I agree. I agree with you there. That's, that's mm. going to give you that Christmas that allows you to unpack the flavor. But for ADV, the NIAT works for me. Yeah, absolutely. NIAT works for me. That's where it's at for me from a recipe perspective. Um, feels like it's got um, even, I would say, I would compare it to the weight, um, you know, from Cantle. I don't actually think Cantle has uh, is got a real p a place on the market anymore. If you look at NI80 for me, my perception of it. If I look at Cantle now um, and this test over here, you know, I don't see the need for it because I'm getting the same kind of basic notes from the NI80 and it's, uh, I'm happy with it. It's less muddled, but still, uh, you know, still a little bit, um, just the slightest little bit muddled so that the recipe comes together. You know what I mean? Yeah. This also, the NI80 is going to give you, I think, better coil life. And it's, it's in more, um, more usable wattage ranges, more usable ohmage ranges. You know, your cancel tends to be a little high. And mm. Stainless steel can be a little low on the on the resistance. Mm. Uh, NI80 is a is a good sweet spot for me. This this for an everyday coil is is quite big. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, there you have it. We've summarized it for you guys. Um, we've given you the breakdown uh, without a doubt. Uh, it's no myth. There's a difference between these coils. Um, let's say wire, excuse me, not coils. There's a difference between these wires. Um, and it's, and it's really clear. So if you want to do yourself a favor, build, uh, three coils with different wires, right? Cantal, stainless steel, and NR80 and do this test yourself and, and leave some comments below. If you get getting the same, kind of experience uh, maybe do this with a friend uh, so that you guys can compare notes and help each other but there's 100 percent a difference between each of these wires um, my preference from a recipe perspective and richard as well is nr80 because uh, it feels like the recipe is coming together nice it's a nice all the way but like we both said for single flavor testing uh, stainless steel might be the better choice because it just feels like it distinguished, you know, the elements within what we were vaping a lot clearer, but that might not necessarily be enjoyable and, uh, you know, throughout the day. Yeah, guys, let us know what you think below and uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoyed the yes, show. Yes. Hey guys, just a quick one. If you want to support this channel, go check out BS One Shots on BLCK. They ship internationally and uh, you'll find a range of mixes in this VS collaboration line, all South African. Thanks for watching.